Now that I've done a, a tutorial on how to make your own miniature coffee bags, I just wanted to talk about, uh, make a quick overview of, of these little things. Um, I figured if you saw my hands, you could better tell how big they actually are. So this is the medium size bag with my uh, homemade label. And I also have a large bag, which you can see it is quite a bit bigger. It's supposed to be one of those really large coffee bags that you get for like, you know, a month or so. And then you have the very, very tiny sample size coffee bags, which are uh, fun. And I made reverse versions. I made the silver kinds, and then I made the regular paper kinds. And that's basically um, all this is, is this paper, but turned right side out and showing the... Uh, silver coating on the inside. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun making these, and I hope you will too. And you can use a lot of different kinds of things, and the uh, plastic twist ties that come on packaging are pretty easy to come by, but you can also use other types, like the paper ones with the wire in them, or anything you have on hand, really, that's wire. And you don't even need these if you don't want them. You can just fold over the top like I do on some of these so you can keep them closed and you can fill them with stuff or find something that looks like coffee beans and put them inside there or just put cotton in it or leave them hollow it's your choice but um yeah I do I, I do really enjoy these and um uh I made it mostly because I like making still life photography and you can see that it actually, these are appropriate size for Barbie or Ever After High, Monster High dolls, or G.I. Joe. Any of the figurines that are around this size will work. So, yeah. It's how big they are, and the really small ones are pretty good size for these types of dolls. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Have fun.